All right, you guys, I am back. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to do this because I, I'm just the world's worst procrastinator and trying to get back, you know, YouTube is a job and when you're on vacation for so long, you don't want to come back. <laughs> but I do want to come back because I love this community. It's so absolutely wonderful and I just have so much fun and, you know, though it's, it's work, it's work. So let's work. Okay, I'm going to do a uh, review on this next week. And because of, you know, wonderful subby request, but I'm waiting on an unboxing, hopefully next week, hopefully it gets here next week. So I will do that unboxing along with review on the, this gorgeous Elise satchel. But today's video is on, uh, my Royal Albert collection. The, I want to call the pastels, the all of the other Royal Albert has so many designs, but I'm going to do with this. Uh, this video is going to be on this collection. I am going to post an updated video on my uh, Royal Albert Old Country Roses because I got this amazing china cabinet. And I'm definitely going to do a separate video on that because I'm just so absolutely and just so thankful and grateful for that new china cabinet. And I picked up quite a few other pieces in that collection so it's kind of grown uh oh significantly not not too bad since the last video i did on that but i do want to do an updated one on that so that's coming and then there's so many other videos tons of videos i've just been putting on the back burner i've done some of them already some of them i want to redo you know just because along the way you get more pieces you know in certain collections of different things so Today's video is definitely going to be on the Royal Albert collection in this china cabinet. I have a total of three china cabinets. Um, I have this one right here and then I have right here. But this one right here is pretty basic. Um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to avoid the glare here. Here, how about I open the door? That might help a little bit. But this right here is from... My grandmother brought it over from Romania. So this is a very special near and dear to my heart collection. So those two shelves occupy that. And then this right here, my mother passed on to me that she acquired from a friend of hers. So this one's pretty uh, simple and basic. I really don't touch any of these here per se. Um, this is just my little fireplace setup thing that I got going on. And uh, and then this is um a buffet. Ignore the little Swiffer duster. <laughs> That's my candle and my coffee that I'm currently drinking. And how cute is this mug, you guys? Ah, uh, this mug is adorable. And I got it from Macy's. I picked that up with uh, I forgot something else from Macy's. <laughs> but um, okay. So this is let's start from the top. What it, what I have. How I've got it decorated, uh, or at least around it. Hobby Lobby knickknacks up there. A few teapots. Well, one teapot up there. A, a pitcher. The white one is from Target. The um, That one was discontinued, but that's Pioneer Woman. Some metal or galvanized... Uh, it's not metal. What is it called? It's on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, I got those from uh, Michaels and the flowers also. And, uh, and this is the whole china cabinet right here. And these I use like, like I use my uh, old country roses also. I'm trying not to get my face in the thing. Y'all want to see my face. Y'all came here for china. Not my big nose. Okay, um, I use these. Uh, there are a few in my uh, uh, old country rose collections I, that I do use. I, but not every piece, obviously, because how many, you know. So, but most every piece does get used. So, okay, let's start from the top. And I, I don't, really do not remember where we got this one from, this china cabinet. It was years ago. But this one was in the um, dining room. And so we got a bigger one in the dining room and we moved this one over here. So let's just start at the top. Over here I have the, um, I have two sets of the, 
uh, what is that? 1940s English chintz from Royal Albert. And this is the fancier, um, uh, the fancier uh, one because it has the gold handle and spout. It's all in 24 karat gold and they have one without the 24 karat gold. But, um, my husband got me one set and then I happened to stumble upon another set that was uh, just uh, such a great price. I couldn't even pass it up. I'm like, well, I have to get it. It's so cheap. <laughs> It'd be so sad to let it go. It's like, you know, you see something, even though you already have it, but you know, it, and those vases, I don't know, even though you already have, I get, uh, you know, I get distracted easy guys. I can't focus on one thing, but yeah, you, you get it so cheap. You just, you don't feel guilty about buying, you know, having two of the same things. Okay. These things are so amazing these beautiful i found it and they're from the linux the gilded garden that's what the collection is called i think it's discontinued but i found some on ebay and uh i picked them up because i just fell in love with the beautiful there's a the picture of course the teapot <laughs> i have to have a teapot and then, but I, it did all start with that beautiful tall vase. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. And I just love florals so much. You know, that all stems back from my childhood in Romania. My grandmother had the most beautiful garden of every different flower you could think of under the sun, her garden. And I was in that garden growing up. So florals are just speak straight to my heart. So that is on the top shelf. I try to dust it off, but if you see any dust, guys, please don't judge me. I'm a mom that works 14-hour shifts Monday through Friday. I come home on the weekends. Uh, I work, you know, after I come home, make sure the kids did their chores and their homework and everyone's bathed and cleaned. And then on the weekends, the same thing. A little of laundry, helping my husband cook. Thank God he cooks because he, and he helps me with laundry and everything else. We're a team here. But still... It's exhausting, you know. So, I'm sorry if you see dust. Oh, and how cute is the little teapot thing? Yeah, you probably saw a whole bunch of dust up there. But and on those right there, I picked up from Home Goods. Home Goods, I've picked up quite a few of the Royal Albert from Home Goods, from Macy's, some from eBay. You just you gotta you just gotta search all the websites. Okay. This one, two, three, four. Okay, this uh, this has four shelves. See, I had to count it, guys. I can't count four. Yeah, um, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so this thing has four shelves. Okay, let's the shelf number two. <laughs> I try to categorize these by collections, but at one point, you know, I had too much of this and that, so I did what I could because I do go in and I do select teapots for the weekend saturdays and sundays every day you know especially the weekends I'll, I'll use this collection or then i'll do the the polka dot collection which i really want one of those polka blue but the big one like this i really want one i do but i already have too many teapots but i'm content right now with the the tea for one set those tea for one sets are just you know, so absolutely adorable. Yeah, I'm going to be yakking and taking these apart so you guys can see. But this is not called, uh, let's see, what, it's got a specific name. I'm over here, I'm like, polka dot collection. I love polka dots. This is called the polka blue from uh, Royal Albert. Oh my gosh, you know, Macy's had such a, some amazing sales, you guys. Whoops, I'm over here breaking stuff. No, I didn't break anything, but... Sounds like I'm breaking it. See, now I lost my... How was I? Oh, that was over there. Um, Macy's has been having some killer sales on their stuff, man. Especially the Royal Albert stuff. I'm so like... I want it all. Uh, yeah, we can't have it all though, right? Because we'll then look like a crazy cat person. Like, you have a million mugs in your house. Why do you need a million mugs, Dina? I don't know. I just do. Something... <laughs> don't ask me why. Everyone's got an obsession. <laughs> you know? And I, But I do love... A bargain for sure okay so then i think this is called the poker rose over here i said i wasn't gonna talk i was gonna do this but you know what whatever we're gonna do this thing this is the polka rose yes it's the polka rose and um you know i love the the polka blue better i'm you know i'm more you know the light green if it was more on the 
if it was on camera, it seems to pop out a little bit more towards the blue, but it is more on the light green side-ish. Wait, I can't describe colors. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and then I have some of these. These are just, um, I think a lot of these are from the candy collection, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, oh, let's see, what does it say? It says new country hero roses so a lot of these most of all of these obviously all every pattern and collection has a different name rose confetti is my absolute favorite on the shelf i've got a t another t for one set i have three of the t for one sets and these are just so beautiful if you want to have one piece and oh macy's is having an amazing so 44 dollars for the old country roses t for one set plug that in real quick because I want another one. I already got one, but I'm like, we got four cups coming. Shh, don't tell my husband. He's going to kill me. <laughs> okay. And then um, this right here is um, that other one. And then, of course, the uh, uh, old country roses, which uh, uh, you probably got. Uh, you guys probably already know. Okay. Okay. Next shelf. I'm just yeah, chattering away. This is not supposed to go on forever, you guys. This is not going on. Oh, look at that. 14 minutes already. Oh, geez. All right. Down here, I have a mix of, I have most of my 100 Years of Royal Albert down in here. That one's part of the 100 Years collection also. But I have, um, I have some, uh, what is that called? Oh, Moonlight Roses. Uh, I'll go back to that. That's kind of, it might make me cry if I start talking about it now. Okay. And I've got my Miranda Kerr collection. I have four. Oh. I gotta be careful with these. I'm like knocking stuff over. <gasps> See, try and do this with one hand. Okay, I have four. I have the the really beautiful darker um, blue, then the pink one. Oh, I love these. I think I've done on all four colors. No, I don't think I've done the white one. And then this is the light, um, the lighter green one. And this is the one I have not done. And I didn't do it in a box. There's so many things I've added to my collection. I just didn't feel like doing an un unboxing on everything. But this, I think this is, I don't know which is my favorite now. But you know, they have two more new colors. They have, I think it's like a periwinkle, which is like a bluish purple and a coral color. You can't even really get them here. Mainly they come from England. But um, they're still so expensive, like almost 35 bucks a mug. I like to get things on sale, so. Okay, and then these are plates from, uh, I have four floral plates. Uh, two of the, on that side and two on this side. And this is from, let me see if I can grab one without um breaking something. Okay, this is from uh, the, uh, let us see. Yeah, I guess Sarah Ann. Schofield. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Probably didn't. But there was a collection of these. I think there's maybe, I don't know how many more there is in this collection, but there is more. Excuse me while I put that back. There is more. I'm sure there is. It can't be just four plates. But I found these plates for cheap and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, now back to the um, Royal Albert Moonlight Roses. I picked these up uh, when I discovered the Royal, oh, when I started my Royal Albert collection, when you start looking into all the different designs, you, I discovered there was a Moonlight Roses and I wanted to acquire a few pieces and because it's so beautiful, it's like the Royal Albert collection, but it's, you know, let me set it down right here, but it's in blue and it's just so beautiful and, you know, it's a different twist, it's a different take on the, um, and now this is the, I guess, a factory reject. I think that's most of the collection, but I, I, I happened to find it on the pre-love website. Uh, I, um, so it was in my heart for a while, but I happened to stumble upon it on the day my sister, um, was buried. Um, I happened just to, um, you know, when you go, when you're, a loved one passes away or is in the process of in that process you're in a state of it's just a you feel like you're told a different dimension than anybody else you 
reality is just it turns you just don't uh, it's such a odd thing to try and describe you're in a zone that a twilight zone basically and on the way to the funeral i was scrolling through my phone which i hadn't got on my phone i guess it was for a week straight while she was in the hospital and rolled it i found these and she always loved blue her room was blue her favorite colors were blue the blue family so i felt like you know just a sweet sign from her i guess you know just so i um yeah that's oh see look at that i didn't want to talk about that okay next last shelf <laughs> last shelf um i have a bunch of um that's a pioneer woman strainer that my sister-in-law got me one year for my birthday and i have the um i think this is called the um <sighs> oh what is that it's part of this whole candy collection I, they, they i guess they call the collection where it's all different each collection or each design has its own name but it kind of consider the whole candy collection because it's all different uh kind of color uh, all the different patterns but they mix the old country roses the the new country uh new country roses and the rose confetti they, um yeah that is all part of they uh they, the whole collection you know collaborates and everything so that is a uh three-tier stand so i have that and then i have um a bunch of um i have a set of the yeah, Mikasa dinnerware set that we do use uh, very much. Uh, and uh, it has the, the bowls, the smaller bowls, some mugs back there, and the uh, two different dinner plates, and then, then the bread plates, or desserts, or salad plates, whatever you want to call them. And then, of course, my Tiffany mug that I have these spoons in here from this set that I just recently purchased from off of Amazon and for 60 bucks I thought this was you know a whole set I thought this was you know hey this is a really cute collection the spout kind of leaks somewhat like when you're pouring it you have to pour it at a certain angle and uh not all the way filled up i don't know it, it's it's finicky <laughs> but it's it's a nice basic design um i can't complain too much because it was you know you get what you pay for uh but uh, i think the cups had the best design on them and the uh, the the saucers they are just really pretty but um for your basic everyday not trying to impress you know your um guest type of deal because the um design kind of overlaps in some places and on the outside looks kind of you know how you will uh print something and kind of stretch it out it's semi disordered looking or but it's okay i think you know for what it is yeah, i think it's it's fine you know, I'm so used to the Royal Albert, but I like to I like to venture out to other designs, other, you know, just if it's, I go by just strictly if it's a beautiful design. And I love this because, I'll tell you why I love that. I love that because it reminded me of this. This cup right here is the Lady Carlisle from Royal Albert. And I love I need to be careful with this stuff. If I break something by the end of this video, I'm going to smack myself in my head. Okay, um, the Lady Carlisle. I love this design. It's so beautiful. So when I saw this, I'm like, hey, that kind of reminds me of something. So sure enough, you know, this design is very similar to this. So, but in the blue version, which I love. So it's got scalloped edges, which is really cute. Five ounces. So if you're looking for a basic teapot um set it comes with six cups and six saucers which is a good deal and a creamer a sugar uh bowl and the teapot uh for 60 bucks i think so to me price wise 
you know, if you want it for everyday use, it'll definitely be, it's a great starter piece, I guess, if you, it's not, it's non-branded, uh, so it's, it, it works. Like I said, you have to get, um, I guess you have to get used to how to pour the spout because the spout is not really angled correctly. So when you pour it, it kind of drips. And that's kind of annoying when you're trying to pour somebody some tea and then you just have a puddle underneath the teapot. But like I said, just play around with it, I guess. But it was worth, it was worth it. It wasn't a purchase that I regret. I still love it. And I love the design. It's great for decoration also, you know, but okay. So this was my Royal Albert uh, collection in this cabinet. And I was going to combine both of the, um, this one and the old country roses together, but I figured I talk forever. So I don't want the video to be 20, two 20 minute long videos or whatever. But thank you for all your love and support. And um, I will see you guys next week. I'm super excited to do that. And a special unboxing that, oh my goodness, you guys, I am just absolutely so thrilled about. So, all right, now I'm gonna hop into editing this video and uploading, getting it done, because otherwise I just never will. <laughs> all right, you guys, see you in the next video.